Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to the show. Running a few minutes late this morning, but have no fear. Tom is here today. All of this week we've been talking about what to do or how to behave when things are going really well. Today I want to talk to you about why, if things are going really well for the business, why now is exactly the time you need to work harder on sales. More on that right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey, look, Catherine's here. I just had to throw that in there. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the show, Catherine and everyone. My name is Tom and this is seven minutes in the morning show where we talk about how to start, grow, enjoy the benefits of business ownership. When you get here, do as Catherine has done already. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. How you doing? The, oh, the chicken's gone. What the heck is the chicken back there over your shoulder? Whatever uh, catches your eye or your attention. That will be fine. Have fun, make friends, and find ways to be relentlessly helpful. I like that. That's really good. Um, today, this week, actually, sorry, I need to take that off. I am falling down on the job today. That's yesterday's title. Um, today, we this week, we've been talking about what to do when things are going really well. Good morning, Nestor. Good to see you this morning as well. What to do when things are going really well. Today, I want to talk about why... When things are going really well and the and the the business is really busy, why that is the perfect time to work on increasing sales, to work harder on sales. A lot of people will look at that and think, and in fact, I've had this said to me many times, Tom, we've got plenty of business. I I can't afford it comes across a couple of ways. I can't afford to to spend on um, sales, because if I get any more work, I'll have to hire more folks and it'll be crazy. Or, uh, we've got more work than we can do. I don't want to disappoint more customers or, um, the, lots of different derivatives of that. Hey, Joe and Glenda, good morning to all of you. So here's, here's the thought when things are going really well for the company, why is this the time where you really need to work on sales? Well, number one, main reason is because this is the time you've got the resources to devote to working on sales. When things are going really well and you've got that cash flowing and you've got customers coming, now you have an opportunity to invest in your sales process. All right? You can work out the little the little kinks and the, the little holes and the disconnects that might be there to make it a smoother process. You can afford to invest in the process, but more important than that. And that's important. <clears throat> I mean, that's super important, but that's not the most important reason why you should work on, uh, in increasing sales when things are good. The most important reason you ever heard the saying about the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Second best time to plant a tree is today. You'll work on your sales while things are good so that when things are not so good, you have relationships built that will continue to pay dividends. When the rest of the market experience is a downturn and all of your competition has treated the market transactionally, right? Like just a paycheck and no relationship building going on, but you've been building relationships. Who's going to keep getting the business? Yeah. You'll probably have to cut prices a little bit, but so what you'll still have more business than the competition because you have invested today in those relationships. And look, I mean, Joe can vouch for this. Anybody who's been successful in sales can vouch for this. Sales is about relationships. It's who you know, and it's who you know when they don't need you that gets you the business when they do need you. Either directly or indirectly, 
it, it's about who you know, and it's about the relationships. Any great salesperson that you know will have an overflowing Rolodex, which reminds me, I used that word the other day and somebody looked at me like, what's that? You know, it's this big round thing where you keep all your cards, your contact information. Now we do it in this little, you know, this little thing, but okay, so be it. Your contact list will be full and overflowing. So point to take for today and the homework that I want you to think about today as you get ready, <clears throat> excuse me, as you get ready to go out into your day and make great things happen. Are you, are, are you just like receiving orders and 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 just trying to get work done? Or are you still working hard to develop relationships? One of the things that, I mean, you see this, uh, you also see this from businesses that struggle to get started and then they have some success and they're like, oh, okay, we're doing all right. I don't have to work at that. And then whatever the external circumstances are that contribute to their success when those go away and they have to struggle some more like, uh, I don't know what's happening. Well, what's happening is you didn't make the investment yesterday in order to have work today. So who can you invest in today? I want you to, before you, well, as, as soon as the video is over, as soon as you finish watching or listening to this, take three minutes, get out a card, write down five to 10 names. At least five, no more than 10, five to 10 names. These are people that you need to contact today just to say, hi, hello, I was thinking about you or to capitalize on a great idea that I got from Joe. Hey, I was thinking about your business and I have an idea for you. Can we have coffee? Nobody turns that down. I've yet to have anybody turn that down. That's a great one, Joe. True sales begins when the first no is said. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, otherwise you're just taking orders, right? If you wait on if you wait on working on sales when times are good, you will feel the pain when you notice that you need to work on sales and sometimes it can be too late. Yeah, absolutely. That and that's that's exactly my point. If if you get to the point in the business where you're like, "Man, we need to get out and work on sales." That ship sailed. So don't let it sell. Who are the five to 10 people you need to contact today? Just, just say hi to maintain that top of mind awareness, Toma, big difference between taking orders and selling. All right. That's it. Really? That's it. Today's the day you need to work on sales. No matter how good the business is, if it's not doing great, you need sales. If it's doing fantastic, you need sales, work on those relationships, five to 10 people sit down this morning, send them a text, send them an email, or, you know, just get crazy here for a minute. Pick up the phone and call them. Hey, how you doing? I was thinking about you today. That's all it takes. All right, that's it for today. It's Thursday. What are you thankful for? Leave a comment down below. I am thankful for you and you being here. I appreciate you being here. If you would do me a favor, two favors actually. If you got any value from our time together today, click on the old heart, stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening today. And right underneath the video is the share button. Click on that. Share the video with somebody that needs today's message. You know who they are and they're missing out if you don't share with them. You guys take care. Have a great Thursday and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Man, you guys in the comments, you're awesome. I love seeing all those comments. Keep them rolling.